Hi, hello all, Roby here. Um, this is an update video to the video I made earlier today when the servers went down for the maintenance patch. Maintenance is complete and they've released the full patch notes. So I'd like to go, that, go through that with you guys uh, for those who don't have access to it. Um, patch notes can be found on Play Nightingale on the news and the patch is patch 0.1.1. And so with the server maintenance concluded, our servers are now back online. This is a message now for all realm walkers, far and wide. And so it's saying, please update your game to access realms once again. It is recommended to restart Steam slash Epic or verify your game files to make sure you're on the latest version. The game version will also now appear on the main menu when you start the game. And so let's go through patch 0.1.1 and the notes therein. So we're going to start um, and most of the bug fixes. And so the first section here is progression blockers in regards to um, when you're playing the game and uh, unable to progress in specific parts of the story itself or the quest itself. So let's see here. First one fixes for various crashes. Tab plus one. At the same time, loading into the watch, mining and chopping tree, mitigating out of memory from Intel processor crashes. So these are the different fixes for various crashes. Uh, chopping down trees is um, pretty common, what I've heard and I've seen personally myself. Second, network errors or progression resets should no longer happen when the game is for squid. Creatures should no longer vanish during vault encounters. Added certifications that should prevent antivirus programs such as AVG from blocking Nightingale from launching. Logging out or leaving the realm should no longer block the quest Keep the beast at bay from Shiv Pearson and should be fixed for those who previously ran into the issue. Some changes were implemented to the Bioway to Terra Realms to address various crashes, progression blockers and general incorrect game states. Now for Art Visual. Scrolling quickly in Character Creator should no longer create um, SFX spam. Removing Trapper's Shoes Critter and Calcularian Boots no longer cause invisible legs. Now oh, that one was hilarious. Forest and Desert Bunker Point of Interest no longer has see-through gaps. It's good, but that was immersion breaking. Removed unintended floating assets at Forest Ruins Point of Interest. Fixed missing water mesh in Desert Herbarium, Small Oasis, Point of Interest, and Astro La um, Astrolab Swamp. Added missing waves to some instances of forest maps. Mystic Climbing Pick, third person animation now uses the intended animation. After dashing with Lantern, player's main hand animation should no longer lock. That one's actually pretty good. It was just a weird visual, honestly. Added cooldown on Poison Trap VFX to prevent it getting stuck. Climbing Pick Magic VFX should now show in third person. Ghost Card Fog Effect Fog Effects should look more consistent for all performance settings now. Fixed Warping in Nighttime Starfield. Pargodo Foundation Brick Top and Bottom Patterns now align. That was annoying as hell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when, <laughs> when I built using Pagoda Foundations, oh yeah, yeah, the OCD me just kicked in when, when things were aligning properly. Um, cleansing minor card should now remove visual minor card effects. Over VFX should no longer lock when players is in motion. And so that's all for art and visual. Now for audio and sound effects, um, that's SFX. Star map room music no longer gets stuck when taking staircases. Increasing gear score should no longer produce player pain sounds. <laughs> it's the grunts ones they hear. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> Fixes for some glitchy sound effects when destroying bustable objects. Fixed sound effect for eating berries. Removed sound artifact that sounded like knocking from the refined enchanter's focus. Fate star map music should not cut in and out in the watch. Sound effects now apply to spells with enchanted with enchanted repair hammer. 
Remove the estate carrying sound loop next to Aurela. Add and missing build complete sounds for various structures such as stone carving block, enchantment station, ocean station, crystal ball, plant box, thick tent, simple wooden table. Now when it comes to buildings, oh yes finally, you can now add light decorations to the underside of upper floor pieces. So if you're building multi-floor homes or bases, um, it was an issue where you couldn't add like light decoration like chandeliers and stuff like or light fixtures basically underneath for the lower floor it was very annoying you are basically forced to use standing lamps or wall lights and stuff like that um, next one fixed seed growth in the simple plant pot and plant box that is a welcome um, fix estate carrions should create respite points even when no points of interest structures sorry let me read that again Estate carrions should create respite points even when on points of interest structures such as broken pillars. Okay. Ah, okay. Crude transom arcways now support roof. Okay. Crude peaked roof, crude peaked corner roof, and desert roof pieces should no longer allow rain to pass through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That reminded me of arc when things were misaligned also. Staff. Trin Trinable should now fully rotate. Hmm, that's. I hope I pronounced that right. Materials should no longer be lost or removing part, um, partially complete building blueprints. Fixes for when players can occasionally only add resources to build encounters. Wait, sorry. Fixes for when players can occasionally not add resources to build encounters. Ah, I see. Legal, um, legal augments should now connect to our chemical boilers. And let's see controls. Keybind changes should no longer break after player death. Oh, that can be very annoying. And remap the push talk key. Inventory rebind should now re respect your own, <laughs> your non-tab key. Right? Controller fixes. I primarily play with controller. I hope there's, um, it's more fully uh, implemented in the game. As of now, I play using a combination of control and keyboard, or mouse at times. Players cannot navigate through the greeting screens. Yay, that's good. Can now select the options part of the armor radio menu. Can remove map markers from the map. Should be able to navigate simple upgrade bench fully. Updates to umbrella, umbrella um, gliding inputs. Can now rotate your character in character creation menu. Swapped D-pad control cycles on the toolbar. Oh, okay. <laughs> the visuals there. Yeah, the UI visual. You should be able to rotate blueprints when it's another tile set piece. That's good. Now, come into the economy here. A ghost summer and time infusions can now be assigned to items. Good. Makeshift torch can no longer be upgraded at benches. That was weird. <laughs> Crafting bench timers can no longer be reduced to one second to avoid VFX or um, sound, basically visual effects or sound effects errors. Umbrella gliding no longer increases player power levels. Ah, huh, I didn't know that was a thing. I know that the um, the interface right now in regards to player, uh, how player levels are, player power levels are calculated is kind of bunk. Kind of wonky, it's always fluctuating. They need to fix that though. NPCs. Will head bound well will head bound hammer should no longer linger after death. Okay. Small creatures should no longer reach above themselves to get onto surfaces. Fixed wardrobe clipping on some abeyance essence exchange merchants. Fox dialogue should match written text in the encounter before the watch portal. Recruited NPCs should no longer teleport into invalid locations such as inside of terrain. Reductions in Bishop and Knight's automation, Hero, Fine Elf, and Leporidon Ragdolls falling through the wall. Yeah, especially when you're trying to get certain items from the Bishop or the Knight, sometimes it's hard to get those items because fall through the map itself. Good mesh, or call it now. Um, Desert Eotins should now use their Bramble ability. Wait, their Eotins in the desert? I do not know. 
Oh, the the um the really skinny ones, not like the uh, thicker ones in the forest. Okay, I, I have seen those. Last miners trap should no longer blow up other human NPC. Prismatic pulpfish now displays the correct creature name. You can now properly apologize to Danu. Oh yeah, the swamp lady. Bound at defense encounters now properly despawn with dissolving effect. Recruited NPCs no longer ignore <laughs> Elfas. Fledgling Atokari, um, Apothecary Challenge should now provide a reward upon completion. Yeah. Removed uncraftable enchantments slash charm recipes from NPCs. Good, that'll help. Now for the player characters, oh, it's a long list of things there. Uh, improvements and fixes. Play a character model should not appear in first person before dissolving visual effects plays when loading into a realm. Improved deconstruction accuracy when using extreme camera angles in third person. Removed obsolete heat time plus trait. Okay. Animation should no longer loop when reloading the Winchester while aiming. Various stability changes to the character creator menu. Changing category while in eye detail screen should no longer break the camera. Escape no longer breaks customization when in the naming panel. Adjusting intensity of makeup colors with no color B selected should no longer remove all your makeup. Reset button in eye manipulation should not apply to eye position. Random button on inheritance screen now applies changes to the player character. Mustaches should no longer stretch with facial reconstructing. Hard difficulty hats should no longer snap to your face after changing facial hair. There should no longer be a third hand when collecting while swimming. <laughs> that was very weird too. <laughs> like uh, whenever you're uh, picking up Carl um, by um, the shore. And water that's here. Yeah. Logging out while climbing should no longer put players out of bounds. Logging the chat spot rifle while crouched no longer stacks hidden status. Oh, did you ever know that was a thing? Now, when it comes to resources, trees should more reliably turn into logs after being caught. Bushman grass in a desert should now be collectible. Textiles using animal fiber should inherit that unique appearance. Oh, that's good. Clothing should now inherit specialized patterns from higher tier animal hide. Chitin should no longer be used as a replacement for bone slash hide. Papyrus should now collect. Um, papyrus now collectible with a sickle. That's also good. Aberrant Bounty Spell should no longer drop mismatching essence tier slash properties. Renewed Inker should go straight player inventory should go straight to player inventory rather than dropping on the ground. Okay. Crafting hybrid stone at an excellent masonry bench no longer creates carved stone. Oh. Illegally Illegal stacked rocks at point of interest has been removed. Um, the UI UX um, improvements and fixes. Rebinding additional mouse buttons should no longer stretch icons. Players can no longer consume ammo from the queue plot. Remove the mentions of hope from various texts. Decor recipes no longer appear on cooking stations without augmentations. Guidebook entries should no longer require multiple clicks to expand. That's good. Players should be able to consistently remove items from fueled structures. Death chest map pin should now show the correct cause of death. Pocket watch matches server time. Completed items in benches should now show the correct amount of items after long rest. Text should no longer be cut off for the higher lumberjack challenge. Previously played realm cards should show when reopening portals. Yes. Their score should be consistent between inventory and what is shown for to other players. That's good. Oh, so they did fix it. That's really good. Okay. Pistol crossbow now shows on first load while when in third person. Interact prompts 
no longer disappear after using help I'm stuck. Longer NPC names should no longer be cut in the realm preview UI. Track and info buttons should no longer cut off text. Challenges should no longer be exposed to the guidebook before requirements are met. Recipes should no longer show as craftable even when there aren't enough ingredients. Move and remove prompts from ineligible realm structure should now be the same. Okay. Put icons should not persist after timer has run out or disappear before the timer run out, runs out. Status bars should feel properly consistently. Elder Eoton life bar no longer persists regardless of distance. Charm of stealth does not show con does not show continually. That's a fix that it did. Travel to Herbarium quest should no longer show as zero over zero progress. Okay, that was very um, annoying. In progress bench timers should persist when returning to the server. That's good. Death chests should no longer have inconsistent spacing between items. Remove inconsistent flickering on bench UI when players queue up tasks. Key shortcuts should no longer break after looking at the full widget. Charms no longer incorrectly state they increase carry capacity. Miscellaneous. Various localization additions, updates and changes. And there are some game changes too. Added sound effects for tier 2 or and tier 3 stonecraft sensation. Good umbrella. Art visuals. Art and visuals. Updated tiered plant resource textures, red mushroom and red mushroom textures. Adjusted text and backgrounds in inventory transfer menus to help with eligibility. To help with legibility. Adjusted gem material for lighting. Moved essence um, visual effects from infusion. Added dry man's ensemble and hat. Adjusted rock shapes to help players distinguish harvestable rock. That's good. Change the texture of one DS tag model to be consistent with the others. Added missing nightingale symbols to tile set vendors. That's good. Tra uh, when it comes to building, crafting stations now get threatened status when in close proximity to hostile creature. Controls. Added controls for rotating through the off offhand toolbar, that's Alt, middle mouse button. Added support for gamepad navigation and character creator. Change the fan of um, change the fan, the hammer skill to a hold skill. Escape should now exit crafting and storage menus. Typing in the guidebook search no longer loses focus. Yes. Now, when it comes to economy balancing. Firearm cost decreased to 100 rather than 30. Oh my gosh! Finally! Wow! This is good. This is really good. Firearm cost decreased to 100 rather than 1300. This is when you get to the watch and trying to buy different uh, firearm items and the price 1350. I can finally get that shotgun then. <laughs> Adjusted the debuff for hungry slash tired to be less punishing. Removed water bottle essence exploit. Removed rocks to armor exploit. I didn't even know this was a thing. Adjusted pricing. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Rocks to yeah. Adjusted pricing and items at essence trader stores. Added missing resources to essence trader stores. Balance changes for shockwave spell. Shockwave spell. Oh, come on, I love that spell. I hope they didn't nerf it though. A lot of people use um, Quake. A lot of people are sleeping on how good shockwave. Balance changes for magic. Hope they buff magic. I um, mean, regards to how it scales. Balance changes for resource drops. Added lunar nectar obtainable in shops. Good. That was a really good. Um, Really, really good. Um, what I call it again? Timable. Axe picks, mining picks, malls, and climbing picks reach has been increased. That's good. Now, for the player character, players will no longer take damage while loading from return to respite. Yeah. Players with a full inventory won't lose rewards from the watch without knowing it. 
backpack will automatically be equipped with the easy loadout. Moved cloth physics from ancestors for improved game performance. Okay, that's I don't know what that is, but that sounds weird. Ancestors should no longer have wrong, have strong makeup by default. Oh, gotcha. During okay, during character creation, yeah, I get it now. Resources. Adjusted water cabbage interaction box. Added discoveries to hope echoes in ascended realms. That's good. Added additional localization for healing salves and potions. Glow spores are now harvestables with sickle are now harvested with sickles. That's good. Here's the sickle more use. Why should I be picking stuff in my hand when I have a sickle? Colorful glass now requires glass to grab to craft. Raw berries for tea. Name change to spice tea. Okay. Remove invalid faith vases from points of interest. UI UX. Added keybind hints to raising and lowering structures. Added warning in pet bed description that only one pet can be active in the realm. Press and return to respite now closes the menu. Adding missing icons for clothing, which drops, tools, guns, coffee recipes, and unique wood bundles. That's good. Improved damage visionette. Visionette. Added announcement banner for pen maintenance in the main menu for future updates. Now we play as a no. Change shard error messages to serve servers unavailable for future updates. Added user facing game version numbers in main menu and debug screen. Improved options screen layout. Added missing status effect icons. Added server region select for character creator. The skin panel for pop up widgets. Added blank cards to show previews and shops. Okay. Added new category to the guidebook. Various description and text updates or changes. Station traits removed to menu and top right. Removed challenge count in guidebook. Benches are now listed in tier order when looking at required benches in the crafting menu. Players are now informed when they leave or get kicked from a party. Higher quality checkboxes added to the settings menu. <laughs> okay. Error reading game data now asks users to verify game files to check for corruption. Remember, the entire um, maintenance notes or patch notes can be found on playnightingale.com slash news okay? for anyone who wants to go through it themselves. NPCs added shoot shimmer, added loot shimmer when pawns collect resources. Recruited NPCs will not join you in vaults access from the watch, but can join you in private wall. Adjusted damage outputs for fabled creatures and larger creatures. Yeah, they should hit a lot harder. They're, they're not hitting hard at all right now. Kind of making entire encounters for larger creatures or even fabled creatures. Uh, kind of lackluster. Just whack once or twice and they're dead. Um, NPCs won't attack passive creatures in offering quests. Remove the encounter vendors. Oh yeah, NPCs won't attack passive creatures in offering quests. Yes, when it comes to the Elder Eoten heart, this is so annoying. Remove the encounter vendors. Most NPC shops have had their wares changed and cost adjusted. Unlocking previously locked items such as such as on its spyglass. Huh, I need to look at all the NPCs then. If the wares have been changed, which is what they're selling, and the cost adjust, I need to see what the changes are. Crater Eotens now drop wood after death rather than meat and bones. Hunt Side of Power no longer spawns additional automat autom um, autom autom automaton combinations and is now fixed to use one bishop and one knight. Miscellaneous. Disabled NVIDIA DLSS frame generation due to causes of GPU crashes. Players have the option to turn it back on if desired. And FSR upscaling is once again available. Good. However, FSR frame generation is still unavailable due to stability issues. And that's it. And they run uh, run the patch notes up by saying thank you for your contributions and feedback so far. We look forward to sharing future updates with you all. Nightingale team from the Fletching Game. That's it, and that's the that's the end of the patch notes. There, it's pretty lengthy. All the things they're fixing in the game, which is good, um, shows dedication and it puts um, it gives players more confidence in regards to 
um, games and um, like, um, longevity. So that's good there. So that's patch notes version 0 0.1.1 from the Nightingale team at the Flexion game. Um, and that's it guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the patch notes, what you think should have been added, or what you're hoping they should add to the next patch. And with that, guys, Roby out.